Realme is literally going after Xiaomi. Smartphones, earphones, Bluetooth earphones, power banks, and now fitness bands. It's bad to see brands fight like this, no? No. As consumers, we are the winners, so it's perfect. Keep fighting. Today, we'll have a look at five solid reasons why you should consider buying the Realme band. Let's get the customary unboxing done. Uh, there is not much in there actually, just the Realme band and the user manual. What about the charger and the cable? Well, that's reason number one to buy the Realme band. There is no charger and cable. <laughs> to charge the Realme band, all you need to do is remove the strap and plug it into any charging adapter you already have or plug it into your PC or laptop or your power bank. Simple. It takes almost two hours to charge from zero to 100%, which is a little longer than I would have liked, but it's fine considering that the battery life itself is really good. That's reason number two. The band has a 90 mAh battery. Realme claims it lasts nine days on a single charge or six days if you enable auto heart rate sensing, which records your heart rate at regular intervals. Now I've been using the band for the past 24 hours. Uh, it was at 100% when I started. Right now it is at 83. In the past 24 hours, I was at the gym for about half an hour. I used the alarm function to wake up in this morning and received some notifications and call alerts all of these involved the band vibrating and more importantly, the heart rate sensor was enabled. So despite all this workload, the Realme band managed to conserve the battery very well. And yeah, the heart rate sensor is something that's been implemented really well. You can set it to auto or manual. The default option is auto and it keeps recording my heart rate every five minutes. So basically that's almost 300 times in the past 24 hours. And uh, you get these amazing detailed heart rate stats inside the Realme Link app. There's a beautiful graph that shows how your heart rate has been throughout the day. Uh, this was on March 2. That huge spike is when I ran at 13 kilometers per hour on the treadmill. Uh, that's when it peaked. So you get this kind of insights on your heart rate, which is quite good. Peak heart rate, resting heart rate and so on. Reason number four, this is the most important one in my opinion. Probably should have started the video with this. The Realme band comes with a 0.96 inch color display with a resolution of 80 by 160 pixels. These specs are much better than what you find on say the Mi Band 3i, which has a smaller black and white display with a lower resolution. It has an AMOLED panel though, while the Realme band has a TFT LCD panel but given the price, it's totally understandable. The fact that we do get a decent resolution color display itself is a bit surprising. And reason number five would be what this band is capable of when it comes to tracking your activities. For something that's not even 2000 rupees, the fitness aspect of this band is pretty impressive. Let's get into the details. So there are nine sports modes, nine different activities to be precise. You can choose any three and they can be accessed on the band. I'm pretty sure we don't have more than three of these that we do on a daily basis. Uh, now, the thing is, if you have auto sports detection enabled, you don't need to turn it on before you start the activity. Do it for a few seconds and it will detect it automatically. And in the past 24 hours, I have found it to be quite accurate. Of course, you cannot take it seriously. It's just a day of use so far. I need more time to tell you how good or bad it is. But so far, the one time I tried it worked fine. Uh, as in my initial impressions are good. Once again, you get detailed stats of your activity in the app, including the number of steps, the average speed, calories burnt, average heart rate, maximum heart rate during the activity and uh, the duration. Yesterday I ran for five minutes and worked out for about 30 minutes, 20 minutes. So when I started running, it was detected automatically. This spike indicates that exactly 945 steps at a stretch. And then I started lifting weights and it gets reflected here to an extent. But of course you can also navigate to one of the sports modes on the band and then tap and hold to start recording the numbers. You can also view a short version of the stats on the band itself. Just tap and hold on the home key on the step count page. So those are five good reasons why you should consider getting the Realme band. In case you've decided to buy, also note that there are a few flaws as well, limitations rather. 
Uh, it has Bluetooth 4.2, not the latest 5.0. No gyroscope, no GPS, but those are features you don't get in any fitness band at this price. And there is a slight risk of this USB stick getting damaged, uh, in which case you probably have to replace the entire thing. As in you might have to get a new Realme band instead of just replacing the USB stick. I'm not 100% sure about it, just thought I should at least warn you. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna get damaged or anything, it's really strong and rigid and the band also has IP68 certification for water resistance. So getting damaged by water is also not a possibility here. So 99% sure it's not gonna cause issues. So that's it. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on your thoughts on this video. Subscribe and hit the bell icon regardless of what you think. Okay, just kidding. Obviously that's also up to you. Thanks for watching. This is Ashwin Sundar and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.